Hi, it's Benjamin again with Relearn tutorial number 10. In the last episode, we learned how to create reusable FX presets. And today we are going to learn one way of using them. Our first goal is to control re-EQ only when it's focused. When it's unfocused or another plugin is focused, the controller should turn inactive. Let's get started. I just fired up a fresh instance of Reaper. Today I will do something different. I will put relearn on Reaper's monitoring FX chain. The monitoring FX chain in Reaper is global. That means it's active no matter in which project you are. That's perfect for us because we want this control scenario to be always active no matter the project. Open the view menu in Reaper. Press monitoring FX. And what we see is a monitoring FX chain, currently empty. Important? Generally, I wouldn't recommend to build complex relearn presets on the monitoring FX chain, because it's too easy to lose data. There is no good undo and redo here, and there's no project which you can save once in a while. Today we will not do anything complex, so it's okay. All we do today is to establish connections between plugins and relearn presets. Now let's add a Helgobox instance. I put it into floating window mode in order to save some screen space. On the bottom right you can see the door controller that we are going to use, the same one as last time. But as always in Relearn, the concepts that I show you, they should work with any controller out there. Now let's go on to the usual routine of selecting the input, the output, to select the controller preset, Mickey Control Universal is mostly a good fit for door controllers. And as always, the interesting things happen in the main compartment. Now the first thing we want to do is to connect re-EQ to the preset that we built last time. Just for the purpose of building such a connection, I will fire up a re-EQ instance. This instance is just temporary. We don't even have to save that project. Keep in mind that currently this whole thing doesn't work so well if you put the target plugin on the monitoring FX chain. The reason are limitations within Reaper that hopefully will be lifted one day. Great, we have our re-EQ instance and at first we should focus it with a mouse click. Then we click on Relearn's menu button and you can see a sub-menu here called Unit-wide FX to Preset Links. There's also an older entry called Global FX to Preset Links, but I wouldn't recommend to use it anymore, especially if you are planning to use this technique with multiple controllers. Now let's establish a connection or link as it is called here from re-EQ to the preset that we built last time. It's a user preset, so we find it in the user submenu. Here it is, faders to EQ. We can open the same menu again in order to check whether the link was successfully added. Yes, we can now see a new entry, the link from FX re-EQ to preset faders to EQ. That looks all right. Now, all that's left to do is to activate auto load for this particular relearn unit. We switch auto load from off to based on unit FX. We learned about the unit FX concept in the last episode. The unit FX of this unit corresponds to the currently focused plugin. As soon as we activate auto load based on unit FX, Relearn will start tracking focus changes and load or unload presets according to the links that we have defined before. Focusing re-EQ with a mouse click makes Relearn load our desired preset. We can now control the EQ as we did last time. As soon as you click somewhere else, re-EQ loses focus. Consequently, Relearn unloads the preset and the controller turns inactive again. That's exactly what we wanted to achieve. Clicking back on re-EQ loads the preset again. Clicking away unloads it. Now let's check what happens when changing focus from one FX to another one. For this, let's add an instance of re-delay. We can see re-EQ at the top and re-delay at the bottom. Now I change focus to re-delay and the controller turns inactive. I change focus back to re-EQ and it loads the re-EQ preset. Now, what if I wanted to load a different preset 
if we delay is focused? The answer is simple. We just add another fx to preset link. For this purpose, I have prepared a new preset in a similar fashion as we did in the last episode, but tailored to redelay instead of reEQ. I link that one to the redelay fx. Now, when I focus redelay, relearn will automatically load this preset. Let's have a short look how it works. I can change presets using the jog wheel. For now, let's select the small room stock preset. It comes with six tabs that are all enabled. You can see that reflected on the controller. Pressing a select button enables or disables the corresponding tab. The fader controls the tab's feedback parameter. And finally, the encoder controls the length of the tab. This is just an example which I hacked together in not even five minutes. It's up to you to build the preset of your dreams. If you came up with a nice one, feel free to present it to the community. And as before, when you click on Reaper's main screen, Relearn unloads the preset and the controller turns inactive. What if instead of turning inactive, the controller could be used for traditional door control? This common scenario is very easy to achieve in recent Relearn versions. At first, make sure that autoload is switched off again. Then, choose the preset that you want to use if no linked FX is focused. In our case, the door control preset. That was the first step. We can now use the controller for traditional door control. We have seen this many times in action, so I will just fast forward here. Now, with this fallback preset active, we activate autoload based on unit FX again. Now, focusing re EQ loads the EQ preset. Focusing redelay loads the redelay preset. And finally, clicking anywhere else loads the door control preset. Now let's try something special. What if you wanted to control redelay only if the small room preset is loaded in redelay? Turns out we can do that as well. Again, go to menu, unit wide FX to preset links. Expand the existing redelay link and press Edit FX ID. Here we can basically change the conditions of this link. At the moment, this link gets active whenever the name of the FX instance matches the one in this text field. So by default, Relearn's FX to preset links are based on the name. We could also use the plugin file name as a criteria. But what I want to demonstrate today is how to add a condition that makes Relearn check whether the preset name matches. That's why I enter the desired preset name here. And press OK. Et voila! The linked relearn main preset will only be loaded when the redelay preset is the correct one. In practice, this feature can be quite useful for samplers, for example, contact. There are more things you can do with FX to preset links, for example, using wildcards for fuzzy matching, but I think it's enough for today. All the things that you have set up here in the monitoring FX chain will persist across Reaper restarts. That means the next time you fire up Reaper, you are all set. No need to open the monitoring FX chain anymore. Relearn will just do its work in the background. It will automatically discover any re-EQ or re-delay that's in focus. Thank you for watching and let's see what I come up with for the next tutorial.